Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. This is episode 350. This week we're going to be talking about the Game Trade Magazine Wonder Woman previews, Article 6 of the big Wiz Kids Hero Clicks rules changes. They just keep swinging and beating us up. Every article is another punch. It's great. And we're going to talk about the F4 deep cuts and some of our favorite Hero Clicks couples for Valentine's Day. I'm your sexy ranch hand co host, Calder Ness. Howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Use code DIAL5, D-I-A-L-5, for 5% off your order. For those of you saying, code doesn't do anything, I already have a bigger discount. That's false. There's literally no such thing, because the 5% code works on everything, not just your singles. You may have a bigger singles discount, but this works for everything. Board games. Hero clicks, sealed like in products. the box and stuff still. Sealed products, baby. All them ooh, ooey gooey delicious sealed products. So yeah. the only way you would have a discount that's the same is if you've spent $5,000 on Cool Stuff Inc. And if you have, good for you. <laughs> but oh, baby, for everybody else. Yeah, ooh, that Galactus ooh, yeah. is a oh, single baby. figure, but it's, it's not on the singles discount. You need that 5% discount code. Exactly. See, that's also nice. 5% off 100 bucks, pretty good. Joining me, like always, in the studio, Hero, that was Hero Clicks Heavyweight Champion, Billion Clicks Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? Oh, you know, I've been I've been deep diving in this uh, Cool Stuff Inc. website the last couple days. <laughs> Galactus is actually seventy five dollars right now. Actually, I mean, it might be seventy five ninety nine. I'm not saying how long that'll good last. Deal. By the time you hear this, he might no longer be seventy five dollars. But that's a good price. Uh, it is the February 14th uh, discounts, I guess. So by the time you hear this, he most likely won't be $75. But uh, as of recording, he is $75. Pretty decent price. I don't need two of them. But if I did... That's right. All right. Like... Always. We start every week with what made us happy. Simeon, what made you happy this week, my man? Was it the weather again? Was the weather just so nice and beautiful that it <laughs> no, made you happy? No, no, uh, What well, made me happy this week. It's probably another thing people are tired of hearing me say over and over again. I uh, get a lot of complaints about how much I love this and blah, blah, blah. And people don't like hearing about it all the time. But uh, what made me happy this week is I had some homemade butterscotch pudding. I know you guys are tired of me talking about how much I love pudding, but this was some really good butterscotch pudding. Uh, They included some sea salt and some caramel drizzle. So uh, also like a little cookie that goes in it. So I've had two so far, but I've, it came in like a bag and I'm tempted to just squeeze the bag straight into my mouth. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, the sea salt really, really Jeez, makes it pop. Dude. That's some some good uh, culinary combinations there. But mm. enough of that. I know you guys are tired of hearing mm. about my pudding talk. It's all when have you, guys you ever... ever talked about pudding ever? What is this? Isn't that, what is that's this one awesome? of the things I'm known for, isn't it? I'm like, I'm the pudding guy. I always no. talk about pudding constantly. Oh, Never. Bruce has no. got to have <laughs> pudding. I'm Simeon Bruce. Pudding um, guy. <laughs> Well, then maybe this this butterscotch pudding has just changed my life so much that I believe oh. retroactively has made me a pudding man. Uh, it literally just changed my good. memory into thinking that that is who I was and have always been. Um, but on, on top of that delicious pudding that was graciously given to me for free, it was beautiful, delicious. I still have some. I'm going to have some after we're done recording because it's so good. Uh on top of that, I got rid of a ton of hero clicks, and CoolStuffInc.com is giving me close to, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna give an exact number, but it's a uh, two hundred and nine dollars and thirty seven cents in trade in value for all these figures that I'm sending to them, and so that's it's made me happy because I'm cleaning up some golden age stuff that uh, going through and just never use, 
and hopefully it's making them happy because they can send it to somebody who might actually use all these things that I've just been hoarding mm. like a dragon for the last five years or so. And with every fifty dollars you sell to them in the month of February, you're getting that sweet, sweet one entry per fifty bucks to win a PS5. So potentially you could make a lot of money. Oh yeah, and that could be Let's our uh, that could be our yeah. patron uh, giveaway if oh. I actually somehow win it. Because I have no yeah. use for a PS5. Um, ooh, you hear, you hear that first, folks? Patreon gets up to three hundred dollars. I'll say two hundred and fifty. If we get it to 250 and Simeon wins the PS5, we'll give away the PS5 on Patreon. And, Sand. and also, if we get up to 1,000, on... we'll build a wrestling ring. Get up to 2,000, <laughs> right, we'll make our yeah. makeshift Hell in a Cell for Extreme Rules, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I've got the fencing. Oh, yep. I'll, just, I'll just tear it from between my yard and the neighbors, and they'll be like, hey, <laughs> that's not yours. And I'll be like, I need it for my cage match. Uh, but I'll also save on, uh, I'll save some of the pudding and, uh, that'll also be thrown in with the PS5. Whoever oh. wins the PS5 will get we'll the last of the pudding. pudding and it is life changing. Simi Believe me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad you had a good week, my man. Um, what made me happy this week? I played some video games. I, uh, set we got on the scoreboard for tf2 man versus machine speed run world record for wave uh whatever nightmare wave um the six six one more wave uh and we got 19 minutes 49 seconds so we are now the the lowest of the scoreboard for the world record on this uh wave um which is really cool so that was fun other video game i started playing more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven, playing the story mode of that. Um, really enjoying it, getting into the controls a little bit more. Uh, finally, consistently playing through the story is really fun. Seeing a totally unique story for the property that I really enjoy is really fun. And yeah, it's just a super fun game. It's got some new, it even introduces a sort of like new character. And part of that game, you play against uh, Darby. And what Darby does is he just like plays poker Darby. Um, to simplify it yeah open the game uh so <laughs> that made me want to play uh poker night at the inventory too so i hopped on my laptop and started playing poker night too mm. if you have not played the poker night games uh sorry you cannot buy them anymore telltale went out of business and they are not for sale anywhere but if you already own them uh playing poker night 2 is great fun you basically play poker night against uh ash williams from army darkness uh, Brock something Samson. from the Venture Bros, yeah. Claptrap, yeah, Brock Samson, Claptrap from Borderlands, and then Sam from Sam and Max. Um, I bought it just because when you play it, you win TF2 items. So once again, all these, all this gaming has come full circle back to TF2. Um, but yeah, I I forget that I'm missing one achievement, which is get a lifetime balance of one million dollars. So I have been steadily playing lots of poker to try to. Uh, get there eventually. I think I'm at uh, 500,000 right now. So we're, get, we're getting real close. I can almost taste it. So the buy-in's like always like 20,000 bucks. Then you have a chance uh, with five people, whatever, 100,000. So pretty sweet. And pretty sweet. Calder, and just enjoying the... Uh, if the like Calder, you talk. have a uh, poker problem, 1-800-BETS-OFF to talk to someone about your poker oh, problem. Oh, geez. 1-800-BETS-OFF. <laughs> to quit your gambling <laughs> addictions. I'm glad. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, it used to be in the negatives, but now we are in the positives. It was in the negatives for a very long time. I didn't want a lot of hands of poker to uh, to see where I last left off that game. I have since gotten better. Um, so yeah, that is what made me happy this week. So let's just go ahead and jump into the news. Ladies and gentlemen, Game Trade Magazine is added again, or should I say the Facebook Heroclix players are added again, taking the worst possible images of a magazine they could. They just grab that magazine, they like, shake it around and try to take a picture with one hand. Yeah, it's like once again, the I have to reiterate this while trying to take yeah, pictures of Game crazy. Trade Magazine. Slow down, calm your heartbeat, set the magazine down, go into a well-lit room, 
you, you <laughs> go just go into a well lit room, hold your phone freaking sideways, and take a nice picture. Let's just calm down here, guys. Just calm down. Okay, calm down. I also think your local library anyway, should own a scanner. I'll donate like the the twenty five cents that it costs that. to scan like five pages at whatever establishment near you owns a scanner. But scanners are meant to scan things, and they do a pretty good job. So I also I'd also say that, um, and this is you know, a bit mm. hypocritical because I don't own a subscription to Game Trade Magazine, but I do own a scanner, so. I guess I should just do that and then stop complaining. But uh, yeah, the quality, folks, the quality. I get Simeon, uh, why don't you talk about the first preview? This is all, these are all Superman, Wonder Woman previews. By the oh god, goodness gracious, they're all Wonder Woman 80th previews. Um, that's what I meant to say. Uh, so Simeon, why don't you jump into the first preview you want to talk about here, man? Yeah, so we're gonna go with the rare Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, we'll go with the rare Wonder Woman. She's pretty sweet. Uh, number 041 in the set, I believe. She's got Princess of Themyscira. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but Wonder Woman may start the game with any Wonder Woman with any uh, Wonder Woman objects equipped. So that's pretty cool. It gives her a lot of options, a lot of versatility. We'll see which one I'm assuming she probably comes with. At least it's the one that comes with the article. So uh, she's got shifting focus, Wonder Woman. So this is free. If Wonder Woman began your turn on the map, replace her with another character with this trait. And then when Wonder Woman uses shifting focus, Wonder Woman, while equipped with a Wonder Woman equipment, Remove that object from the game and don't score it instead of unequipping it. So you lose the object. Your opponent doesn't get it, though. Pretty solid option, I guess. Um, good way to get rid of an object if you don't need it anymore, especially if your uh, shifting focus Wonder Woman that you're bringing in is like a much better option than what you currently have. This one's 75 points. She's got four range, two lightning bolts. Starts with running shot for her first two clicks, then the rest of her dial is sidestep, seven clicks deep. She's got four clicks of invulnerability with two 17s and then two 18s, and then she goes to defend. Uh, also, the first four clicks is all incapacitate, so it's printed on her dial until they release the rules. We don't have a 100% idea of how incapacitate is going to work. Um, some theories are saying it's probably going to be like you deal damage and then incapacitate just happens. So you'll deal the damage printed and then also give an action token. I think that would be a good change for incapacitate, especially when somebody's rocking three damage. I almost always want to damage my opposing character instead of incapping them, unless I've got someone with like triple bolts or something. Uh, she also has her entire dial, a special damage power that's called I Will Hold Them. Unique modifier, opposing characters within range, modify defense minus one for each action token they have, which is pretty sweet since the pushing damage is gone. A lot of people are going to be double action tokened. Uh, a lot more people than used to are going to be double actioned at some point during the game. So that's a minus two to defense. That's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, then her last three clicks for attack, she's got Quake. And then for defense, she gets combat reflexes. She does have the indomitable symbol, but I'm guessing that's just the standard throughout this entire set. So doesn't add anything, doesn't subtract anything. She does have the Wonder Woman team ability without any super senses on dial. That'll only give her a super sense on the six. And then the equipment that she is previewed with is the Lasso of Truth. Um... Actually, now I'm, that I'm looking at it, this lasso does not come with her because it's clearly got a super rare uh, coloring behind it, and she's a rare. So, But I'll go into it anyhow. Um, this isn't the equipment that she comes with, if she comes with any, but this is one that she could start with. So the lasso of truth has the effect incapacitate with a range of four as free. When the equipped character uses it, if they have the Wonder Woman team ability... Each opposing character adjacent to the original target also becomes targets. So within four range, it's basically like an energy explosion. Um, 
it also, I guess that could work as close. Uh, opposing characters adjacent to the original target for a close combat attack would be pretty solid. Um, but yeah, it's free. I think the lasso is definitely worth it for that, uh, for 10 points. That's a lot of, potentially a lot of uh, penetrating damage if they're already double actioned. And then just getting an entire group of people really throws off your opponent's flow if all of a sudden they have to clear their next turn. And then additionally, mm-hmm. it has free, if the equipped character is named Wonder Woman, remove this object from the game and don't score it. If you do, equip that Wonder Woman with any other Wonder Woman equipment from outside the game. So it looks like the Wonder Woman objects will have the ability to be swapped out. She'll be able to kind of reach into her utility belt, some would say, of uh, Oh my god. And, uh, yeah. Um, I don't think the Lasso of Truth is going to be amazing for me unless I'm like Spider-Man family copying uh, the Spider-Man ally copying Wonder Woman team ability or something like that. Um, But having literally any character with incapacitate uh, with four range as free is pretty solid. And then if you do have that team ability, then uh, you get the additional effect of all adjacent opposing characters becoming targets. That's pretty solid. The, the ability to swap out is neat. I don't know if I'll ever equip the lasso to have that ability, but it's nice that it, it'll be like in the arsenal of Wonder Woman. Um, mm-hmm. I'm assuming there will be there will definitely be at least Wonder one Wonder Woman uh, with like equipment combo that is really solid. Um, I'm assuming mm-hmm. it's going to be one with super senses, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I would ever pay ten points for just in cap range of four is free. No, um, I guess the rest of that is great if you are Wonder Woman character or name Wonder Woman, but like for just that part, which would be for everyone else, it's definitely not worth ten points. But yeah, yeah, and this it is particular... cool. I like the shifting focus equipment. It's pretty funny. Yeah, this particular Wonder Woman. Although she does get to use it like an energy explosion effect and hit all adjacent characters with in yeah. cap, um, over half of her dial is already in cap, so it would be like free in cap and then power action in cap or like running shot in cap if that's like really what you want to do. Uh, clearly, the equipment's better than the printed in cap on this Wonder Woman's dial, but she's only got three damage her whole dial and she's seventy five points. So it's definitely going to take seeing what the other shifting focus mm-hmm. Wonder Woman do to know if this one's even like worth having sidelined, yeah. to be honest with me. There's always a couple of stinker shifting focus characters in the shifting focus, except for the Captain America shifting focus. Those are all good. Anyways, uh, moving on, let's talk about the super rare. Oh, baby, we get our first Green Lantern. Sadly, it's Hal Jordan, the second worst Green Lantern. Um, but it's, he's here anyways. He has Green Lantern, Core, Justice League, and Herald and Soldier. No pilot. Interesting choice. Uh, very interesting choice. He has a trait, Green Lantern of Sector 2814. Free, if no construct. Generated by Green Lantern was on your force this turn. Generate a green construct. We'll get to that in a moment. And then the only other thing he has is a special defense power on his second and sixth click. Uh, second if he's at 75 points and then last click if he's at 50 or same for both which is just stop invulnerability 75 wow the stats they are giving DC characters now amazing a big fan uh, flight 7 range indomitable well I'm happy normal I finally symbol, I have guess, a whatever. 50 point top dial 11 attack 18 defense with a stop click and it's like four clicks long. Uh, yeah. Other than like Starfire, there's a lot of like one offs, and usually it's a super rare. So hopefully the rest of the set stacks up to this. But yeah. as far as like right Without now, dude, it's awesome. point values are pretty solid on this guy. Oh, it's great. So like giving me uh giving me super rare Wolverine uh flashbacks with this really good move and attack, support power, stop click. It's gnarly for 50 points, just gnarly. Um, obviously not at all like Wolverine, but still the 50 point with the freaking ball and 50 point dial. 
Uh, like Simeon said, running shot, pen blast, 18 invul, three damage outwit is gnarly. Uh, he also has a small change to the Green Lantern team ability. Uh, it's the normal passenger eight, this character, but now it is you can carry characters regardless of flight. Finally, good stuff. When when Green Lantern's out there flying in space, he'll carry Wonder Woman and whatever in his little green bubble. Speaking of green bubbles, what makes the 75 point value so cool? Well, uh, instead of having pen blast top dial, he's got a naked attack value and he has a 10 speed running shot, 11 attack, 19 defense with defend. So why is that so cool, Calder? Why would I play him at 75 as opposed to 50? You are getting a lot, getting rid of a lot of your offense, but you gain a ton of support with leadership and also with the catcher's mitt, the Green Lantern construct we have. So he just gets to make one of these for free. Uh, it's on a little object base, but it's, you know, catcher's mitt. By the way, didn't know catcher's mitt or whatever, just mitt in general was spelt with two T's. Kind of just thought it was one, to be honest with you, unless that's not how it's supposed to be, but that's cool. Uh, the catcher's mitt is a autonomous bystander, which is a very curious way to make constructs. Autonomous makes sense. Um, it is super interesting that this is how they're doing it. So little bystander, six speed, sidestep, 10 attack, nothing, 17 defense, special defense power, one damage. Uh, the defense power is, I got you, adjacent friendly characters have energy shield deflections. So now with Hal Jordan and this catcher's mitt, the mitt itself can't use ESD, but with Hal Jordan, the catcher's mitt, everybody's got a 21 from range. Pretty cool at 75 points. Yeah. Yeah. Here's really the uh, real quick construct uh, thing. This, this is another special thing. It does have a special symbol on the card, which is the power battery symbol. Um, and it does say catcher's mitt green specifically. So as we know, we saw a star sapphire, probably in the Yeti violet uh, construct. So the construct wording is immediately KO this construct. If not within six squares of the character that generated it, constructs do not block line of fire, uh, require opposing characters to break away and opposing characters don't stop moving when they become adjacent to constructs. Uh, constructs can't be chosen for mastermind or have their combat values modified. So makes sense. They're just sort of a thing that's there part of green lantern it's pretty good it so, is a 10 yeah. for one though. i really like the green lantern so this theoretically still make attack your your catcher's mitt could ko uh like another <laughs> another opposing character's bystander like a star of fight or a oh. uh paparazzi you could just swat them with a catcher's oh, yeah, mitt baby. all about that but all right that is one that is the game trade magazine really quick uh we had some Fantastic Four deep cuts. Oh, baby. Cuts so deep. Um, it's basically it's those unpainted figures. They have the same sculpts as the, what's it called? Cosmic Clash starter yeah. set. So they're all white. There's the unpainted versions that you can paint in whatever color you want. Wow. The only one I could probably paint is Silver Surfer. If I'm being real. Um, but really quick. <laughs> hey, you can make the um, Silver Surfer black now. Uh, that's like the current comic that is true. run. Uh, it I wouldn't match his all black style, or all silver, really, but no. it is a really cool comic run that's going on. Fun fact about Black Silver Surfer and then whatever. Remember um, the Game Trade magazine a while ago for the first Fantastic Four set that mentioned and showed pictures of the Black Silver Surfer and we still have not seen him. He must oh, be an yeah. LE or something. Because there's, there's that and he's not in Future Foundation like we assumed once we knew about Future Foundation, but he's still not there. So that he is, must be an yeah. LE or just that is I don't know. Yeah, something weird. Yeah. There's like another figure there too that was like maybe a Sue Storm or something that's I don't think we've seen either. Um, but yeah, super weird. They all have uh, 75 point lines and 20 point lines. The 20 point lines are two clicks along with a stop click for all the Fantastic Four, which is so dope. Um, that part is cool. Uh, the not cool part is all of their traits work off of knockback, and obviously knockback got a huge nerf with not being able to deal knockback damage. And it's always going to be three squares. So um, it really sucks. Um, I would say the ones to pick up, though, without a doubt, Human Torch, Running Shot, 10 for three. He's got enhancements. He has barriers free, but only to generate one marker. Very cool. Um, he can also knock someone back for free with that barrier. So he can mess with positioning at the very least. No damage, but, you know, positioning, which is cool. And then the thing is sidestep with empower as well with all the rules changes this is great and also they are just cheap um fantastic four team abilities you want to copy them human torches celebrity thing is brute that's true uh yeah. really quick mr 
Mr. Fantastic um, has a sort of infinite loop kind of funny. And he can make like a little infinite loop with his body too, if he wants to, but his trait is torso trampoline. When a character's knockback path ends adjacent to Mr. Fantastic after resolutions, knock that character back a number of squares equal to a number of squares. Uh, they were actually knocked back in any direction you're choosing. So you can just choose the direction of him and you can just keep boing, 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 like an actual trampoline. So you do like him at 20 points. Uh, let's just say him at 20, human torch 20 points. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, him at 20 points again. Yeah, also. But Human Torch at 20 points to get that free knockback for the barrier. You do a barrier free knockback into Mr. Fantastic. And sure, have two Mr. Fantastics and just go boing, 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 boing. It's like when you're in Portal and you're just, it's not really the same thing. But it's just bouncing back to the board. Yeah, it's pretty much similar. Yeah. Also, if you didn't manage to pick up a Cosmic Clash and you really wanted the sculpts, these should be, what, three ninety nine each? Is what the last set of uh, master cuts or uh, unpainted like, ones? Yeah, were. four to five bucks, something like that. Deep yeah. cuts, not master cuts. Yeah, um, deep cuts, baby. The Doom isn't terrible. <laughs> he's not the best Doom that we've seen, but he's he's interesting, I guess. Um, and then the Silver Surfer, likewise. Uh, I think the, the Cosmic Clash Silver Surfer outshines this one quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, he does have the ability. The one fun thing about the Silver Surfer is he's got hypersonic speed. And then after resolutions, you can knock back each character one square that he moved through. So you could potentially move through like an entire team, especially top dial when he's got 14 speed. Uh, you could move through a ton of people and uh, knock them all back. Again, not going to do knockback damage here in a couple months once Wonder Woman drops, but... Uh, it is still a fun mechanic in that uh, respect, I suppose. Absolutely. Well, that is all the fun news for this week. Simeon, you want to talk about the mind-numbingly depressive news this week? Ooh. It's actually not that bad. It's really not. Their, it's not their worst <laughs> article. It's really not that bad. I won't say it's, it's bad news because... Truly, you'd have to understand what the news is to say whether it's good or bad. And yeah. uh, luckily, they wrote this article in an incomprehensible way that you won't be able to understand what they're actually doing. Um, so, yeah, they, the rules number six, it's a combo article came out. Uh, once again, they greet all the masterminds out there in hero clicks land to the, today's article oh i don't, um, don't want to be called a mastermind by the way what especially Say if i don't know if i players. can even use it in the next set. yeah uh, well i mean that yeah <laughs> but like i don't want to be called a freaking master that sounds so dumb i yeah. guess they were trying to choose one power they could call us as opposed to clicks players hero clicksers whatever yeah, clicksers, they couldn't whatever call us the super say. strength clicks players because that's benched uh, right, it's too confusing. Uh, but yeah, why don't, why don't you get if into uh, the... if you've read their replies on uh, Twitter? It's, we're definitely mm. not empowering whiz kids in any sense of the word on there. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the, I'm sure they love us. The meat of the article is uh, why let more powers combo. They say pow combos are fun, even more so when it allows your superheroes to feel more super. So, like, sure, combos are fun. Uh, if they can streamline combos, that's great. Uh, Pre-2017, it was kind of a headache as to what worked with what. When they reworked Mind Control, it was pretty straightforward. That was, like, the main issue for me was, like, Mind Control just gave you a turn with that character. So, like, what powers and abilities could they use? And then 2017 retroactively fixed all that. Uh, but if they can streamline it more, even better. Uh, so to address this, we are making changes so that more abilities improve your attacks instead of replacing them. Certain powers, certain standard powers, still require a dedicated action and will remain in the attack replacement column, but you will notice the list of standard powers grew considerably in the attack improvements column by removing their dedicated actions, i.e. Uh, capital close, capital range, capital power, so it used to be capital close and then lowercase close, capital range, lowercase range. Um, 
and capital close would require a capital close action, which could only come from being given a power action to activate or having charge, and that was basically it. And then range, similarly, either a power action or comboed with running shot. So now they have the attack replacements column, which is flurry, mind control, energy explosion, and pulse wave. So you will get one of those as a replacement. You can't combo any of those, uh, which is interesting. Uh, flurry, so you can still running shot mind control, still running shot pulse wave, energy explosion, and still charge flurry. Those are the main things. And then improvements, and we still don't know exactly how these will combo with the listed top one, uh, but attack improvements are listed as force blast, and then in parentheses, the knockback portion only. Blades, claws, fangs, quake, super strength, the knockback portion only, which is interesting to me because would it not also be the object attack? Like the I don't I don't know. I guess technically an object attack is different. So uh, really, why, that's yeah, all why would you not? Super yeah, strength like has I guess uh, mm-hmm. incapacitate. Those are all like the. Those are all like pretty basic those are already worked with charge flurry i believe uh other than quake and super yeah. strength but yeah. super strength's knockback worked with flurry because it was capital knockback but uh the object attack couldn't work with flurry then they go on they say incapacitate so that should work with i mean according to this article it should work with pulse wave and energy explosion now potentially mind mm-hmm. control however that works i don't know because we don't really have the definitive uh, power listing yet. Then they go on penetrating psychic blast, precision strike, steel energy, ranged combat expert, battle fury, the avoiding shape change part only, which is interesting to me because if it, they didn't say uh, the part that negates the ability to make a ranged attack, which is part of battle fury currently, if they're getting rid of that, then that means that you could potentially like pulse wave with battle fury or energy explosion while you have battle fury. So that's interesting. It's not a combo that typically happens, but uh, there are ways to force battle fury onto characters opposing or friendly. So it'll be interesting to see if that was just a typo or if they are getting rid of the ranged part, uh, nullifying effect of battle fury. Then Exploit Weakness and Close Combat Expert are the last of the attack uh, improvements. So based off this list, they really don't give us a ton of information. But based off this list, I could theoretically running shot Pulse Wave, Steel Energy with Penetrating Psychic Blast in case my opposing character has, you know, uh, a stop click that protects from Pulse Wave. And then I could also uh, Blades that pulse wave i don't know um no that's probably not how it's going to be but uh it is interesting how they've listed these they list the power actions as charge uh force blast the power part only ah the power part only of force blast will be under power actions thank you whiz kids i am a mastermind Mm. and i did not understand that so uh hypersonic speed running shot smoke cloud telekinesis and barrier and then they go on to say charge and running shot can have the attack portion of their effect replaced with an attack replacement so none of the other listed powers other than charge and running shot will be able to have the flurry mind control energy explosion pulse wave so there won't be any hypersonic flurry hypersonic energy explosion or hypersonic pulse wave or mind control um Luckily, I guess. They're also, according to this article, they're getting rid of the ever-effective telekinesis mind control combo that uh, I always used to run. Oh, wait, no, that was never a thing, and they didn't need to state that it won't be a thing. Um, But yeah, uh, so that's basically it for this article. They really, until we get the actual pack, the actual powers and abilities card... I wouldn't put a ton of emphasis into this article. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to assume that anything that is considered a close attack will stack. I'm going to assume that steel energy will be used at range now as well. It's hard to say. Um, you shouldn't assume those things, but okay. Steel energy is really the only one that I'm making a leap yeah, on. Yeah, right. But uh, anything right. that's like ranged will work with range. Anything that's close will work with close. 
and then those will go. combo with energy explosion and pulse wave in some way. Uh, mind control again, like as it works right now, it replaces your damage. So not sure how that'll work with incapacitate or penetrating psychic blast or precision strike or uh, ranged combat expert. Uh, if you'll get the attack increase but not the damage dealt, I don't know. Uh, whether or not you'll be able to use it when you have Battle Fury, no idea. And then they do go on to do rules questions from earlier articles. Question one, how does my character with Colossal Stamina as part of a trait or special power work now? Answer one, there will be rules form posted with some of the more precise wording, but characters with Colossal Stamina as part of a special power or trait have the same gameplay as Colossal Stamina from the 2017 core rules and PAC. For reference, the 2017 wording on Colossal Stamina, this character can be given a costed action even if it has two action tokens and does not receive an action token for that action. After resolutions, deal at one unavoidable damage and don't clear its action tokens this turn. So basically, Colossal Stamina doesn't change. Uh, retroactively, you will continue using it as you did before. Um, that's how they've worked with all Golden Age rules, Sharpshooter, uh, Duo Attack, anything like that. When they release new rules and they don't include it, doesn't mean that rule is gone. They just make you refer to the older rulings on it, um, which was great in 2017 when they just purged all of the previous rulings. So you had no way of knowing how they ruled on old things. Uh, question two. How will my character work that can use close combat expert or ranged combat expert as free or at no cost? We'll be posting exact oh answer to. We'll be posting exact wording and errata to the rules forum, but those characters will get the chance to make a closer ranged attack, so they're actually going to be a little stronger than before. No. This would apply to characters like Champion 063 from Avengers, Black Panther, and the Illuminati, or Frenzy from the X-Men animated series release. Trying to match those characters to exactly what they did before wasn't in the spirit of the new rules and would be very wordy from a rules perspective. So basically, close combat and ranged combat expert are just static uh, modifiers. So when you have a character that has close combat or ranged combat expert as free... You now just have range or close attack as free with that modifier. Uh, whether it's better or worse, I mean, it's a static modifier that you can't change. So rather than having like an 11 for 4, I'll have a 12 for 3 or, you know, whatever. The plus 1 to attack and damage. I won't be able to stack my attack to make it an easier hit. And I won't be able to stack my damage to deal more damage. It'll just be what it is. Um, so they say... They say those characters will get a uh, little stronger than before. At best, they'll stay the same. I'm not going to say they're stronger because they literally don't change. Um, they get a free attack, which maybe they'll be able to combo that with something else, and that'll make them stronger. But as far as the wording is now, it just makes them less likely to make a choice in the matter. Uh, question three, how will my character work that can use telekinesis, but only to do something that telekinesis no longer does. Answer three. We'll be posting exact wordings to the rules forum for characters that this applies to, like Justice League Unlimited 055 Stargirl. As much as possible, these figures will work like they always have. In the future, special powers or traits might still allow for special versions of telekinesis. So this will probably just say, like, if it, you know, if telekinesis in its text, in its special text, says uh you know targets an opposing character then you can do that but otherwise uh if it's just the power plane it won't um that's the easiest fix for them that's probably what they'll go with question four what's happening to water and obscuring terrain answer four water terrain will function like clear terrain for movement and line of fire purposes then why would you have it Water terrain will function like clear terrain for movement and line of fire purposes. Oh, here's why. Uh, except for special effects that specifically interact with it, like Susan, Queen of Atlantis. Good. Water is now wow. water for wow. only dolphins. You know, like when you go to the beach and only the fish are in the water. 
but when you go to walk on the water, I mean swim, because uh, you can no longer swim, you just walk out to the water, and the fish is like, yo, I'm underwater, it's harder to hit me, and I'm like, I'm easier to hit, but I can walk on this water, because I'm a hero. <laughs> uh, obscuring terrain will be functionally identical to hindering terrain. Uh, yeah, that's just straight up true. Uh, wow. Moving forward, we wow. will not utilize obscuring terrain, which I actually don't like. That's one thing. Like I knew when hindering terrain lost the movement uh, benefit yeah. or like the stop moving thing, it was essentially obscuring terrain at that point. But I kind of liked maps that were like, this is just a dark alley. There's no like trash cool. cans or anything in it, but it's a dark alley. And so it was obscuring terrain. Now it's just going to be hindering if they do that, which is fine because it's just a color on a map. That's fine. Uh, question five. Given the new rules on knockback, what about characters that specifically say how much knockback they do or what they do in additional X knockback? Answer five. Since special powers or traits can supersede the rules of the game, nearly all of those characters will still work as printed. There might be some exceptions which will require an errata, like the new Susan Storm that we just talked about. Also, there will no longer be falling damage from being knocked back to a lower elevation. Good. Yeah. Simeon, I even if I didn't punch you, time. let's say I let's say I just pushed you. Yeah, pushed you off one of your um your signs. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I legitimately you, you fell died. off a roof one time, and I survived. Oh, geez. without breaking any bones or anything. Uh, wow, I'm this impressed. was when I was like a child, so I was much more flexible and sturdy, right. I suppose, less brittle. Uh, so I guess back then I was probably a, a post 2021 hero clicks figure. Uh, now yes. I'm definitely a 2017 he hero clicks figure. Huh, true enough. Yeah, that's fair. No, no lie detected. That's right. <laughs> Before right. before this rules change, we all could jump off buildings and we would die. But now, now that it's happened, hey guys, go jump off any building, bridge, whatever like you that. want. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's like that scene in the Matrix where he tries to leap Don't do across that. the it's a joke. <laughs> he tries to leap across <laughs> right. the building yeah. and doesn't make it and he falls and the ground becomes like a giant trampoline and just like boing shoots him back up. Except right. even then he starts right. bleeding from his mouth because he took damage from that fall. But that's uh -huh. fine. Um, question six. And then we'll wrap up this article. Why has Flurry been eliminated? Answer six. It hasn't. We've been we've seen feedback that some players have assumed since close attacks can multi-target that Flurry won't be sticking around. It will, and it's even better on characters that can multi-target. Your close attacker could target two opposing characters with the first attack from their flurry. If they roll high enough to hit one character but miss another, miss the other, they can apply their full damage to the hit character and make the second attack with flurry for another shot at both characters for the second time. That's how I always assumed it would be. I don't know why anyone assumed differently. That's how range targeting works. Yeah, it's very weird. So there is no like ranged version of flurry, but it would be cool if we did... If flurry was called like flurry or like double tap, like flurry slash double tap, and then we could Ooh. apply it to range characters. Let's uh, change leap climb to double tap. Yeah, completely change it. <laughs> All I those think close kids, leap climb. Wizkids already range. very much thinks that like ranged attacks are just overpowered. They're like you can attack from uh, range, yeah. and then your opponent Wild. isn't even next to you. This is outrageous that's like what all these articles have read like uh they say to finish up the article they say we'd also like to give special thanks to the players who reached out to us to let us know some figures they think we'll see more play and they're excited to try out in the 2021 rules are in effect check out these figures low uh 043 static from justice league unlimited uh all i remember about him is he's got like sidestep and pulse wave maybe he's got something else going on Maybe I'm thinking about the wrong static, too. Uh, maybe it's like an maybe. energy explosion, something or other. 033 Huntress from the Justice League Unlimited, 010 Ninja from Batman Animated Series, and 015 Trapster from the Fantastic Four. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
then if you want to leave feedback Dude, for WizKids now with what figures you think yeah. are going to be amazing with these rules changes or figures that you're worried about Ooh. getting an errata, you can leave them feedback at Game Feedback. That's <laughs> G-A-M-E-F-E-E-D-B-A-C-K at WizKids.com. Please don't go and just bash on them like people have been on Twitter because whoever handles their social media isn't in charge. They're not the same person that's in charge of the rules. They're literally just yeah, the person yeah, that's like, yeah, guys. I can type English, so I'm going to post these like rules changes. They're not the ones that like designed them. So when you go on Twitter and you just completely blast the poor guy who's handling the Twitter account, Jeez. Like imagine imagine going to work and then like your whole Who day is just that? reading like bad Who reviews about you. <laughs> like Imagine. Uh imagine. Imagine a person who would go on Twitter to faceless nameless Twitter man and bother them all day long. Yeah, that's definitely imagine. not Who what that platform that? was meant wow. for. Wow. Not at all. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Of course not. <laughs> All right, cool. WizKids article. I'm going to have Simeon read more of these because I've mentally clocked out um, and don't care anymore. Um, what happens, happens. Uh, next up, we're going to do a little, a little romance for Valentine's Day. I'm your sexy ranch gang co-host, Cole Dines. I'm your sexy ranch gang. I'm your sexy... Ranch gang. You're sexy. Ranch gang. All right, now that Simeon put in some weird sound clip that I'm sure listening back to makes sense and might make me even slightly uncomfortable, let's get into uh, a little Valentine's well, it's Day. It's making me very uncomfortable. Um, thing. <laughs> I'm already worried. <laughs> um, all right. We, we have chosen... Uh, I've chosen three couples to talk about. I don't know how many Sim- Simeon's chosen. Um, I didn't make a team. I just sort of chose some couples where it's like, hey, if you play a Valentine's Day scenario with your friends, family, whatever, uh, try some of these couples out. Uh, so I'll start first. Uh, first up, this one actually has like actual synergy, but it's Ice from Streets of Gotham. Um, she has a trait unlikely couple. She's 64 points. Uh, when a friendly character named Guy Gardner is adjacent to Ice, they both modify their attack values plus one. If not already modified by this effect. Now, there is the guy from Streets of Gotham that works with ice as well. I think it gives her a plus one defense or something like that. Um, I'm going to specifically use the new WizKids 2019 LE Guy Gardner. 75 points. Now he can carry her instead of a six square uh, 11 attack Quake or with charge or whatever. He can now be a 12 attack Quake. Um, maybe single target Quake for damage. Um, but he's only moving five squares if he carries her. But still, it's really cool. It's really cool, and I really dig it. So there's a little ice and guy. That's my, that's my couple. So if you guys play a couple game, try it out. Simeon, you got a couple for me? Yeah, so all my couples are not your standard kind of couples. So first up, yeah. I did the Captain America and the Avengers Captain Marvel Super Rare. But it's not for her. Because my other figure is the Captain Marvel movie Nick Fury... And the couple is the bystander, Chewy, also known as Goose, <laughs> the Flurkin. So, of course, in the MCU, Nick Fury and Chewy have a, a deep bond. You'd say it's almost eye-catchingly deep. Uh, you know, oh. he, he was betrayed, but uh, oh. what love story doesn't start That's with a, a little so bit of betrayal? Uh, yeah. So <laughs> This Nick Fury, he's got that sidestep stealth. Wow. Free remove a tradecraft token uh, to move Nick Fury or an adjacent friendly character up to half their speed value. That makes Captain Marvel really good. Uh, it also makes Chewy gives him the ability to charge, so to speak, which is pretty good since he's got flurry plasticity and giant reach of two. Uh, of course, he, he didn't just catch Nick Fury's eye. He caught his heart, and that is that is my couple... Uh, we've oh. talked enough about <laughs> Captain Marvel, but uh, oh I don't really need to go into further detail about Captain Marvel. But yeah, yeah. Wow, what? Gotta say, not really looking forward to whatever the rest of them are gonna be. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, 
<laughs> um, I have uh, for my next couple uh, Deadpool and the X Force 025 Diamondback. Uh, Diamond, sadly, um, there's only two Diamondbacks that exist one the Captain, the original Captain America set, and then this one from Deadpool. Neither of them have a trait that works off of her relationship with Captain America. They had an entire issue that was like a date night issue. It was really cool. I always liked the the duo traits, like the Black Panther Storm traits, stuff like that. And it really hurts me that there's no Diamondback that works with Captain America like that. And it, because that's that's my top tier Captain America, like the girl Cap, I like the most. The one, you know, the one that like the relationship. That's my ship. That's my uh, that's my waifu. My Captain America waifu is Diamondback. <laughs> that's my girl. All right, to use some language nerds may understand, because. I don't know. Anyways, like that's my girl. I love the 80s era Captain America. Those are like peak Captain America comics for me. That's what I love. Everything past that is like, okay, some of it's straight trash. You know, looking at you. I can't even think of his name because it's so bad. Um, Whatever, Dan. It's like Dan something. <laughs> Stubbins or whatever. I hate that guy. I hate anything. Jurgens. Dan Jurgens. I hate that man. Hope he dies. Anyways, um, he's already dead. Great lotion, though. Sorry. Jurgens. Um, Jurgens, yeah, amazing lotion. His is spelled with a U. Anyways, uh, Diamondback is great. She's got some sidestep with some ESD. She's got full range. Those are little diamonds. Um, I played her in the Thursday Throwdown. Diamondback um, did okay in that. The Thursday Throwdown of Deadpool and the X-Force, which is ADW. So that was a good Thursday Throwdown. Check it out on YouTube. Uh, she also has plasticity when she successfully breaks away during a non-free action. After resolutions, heal her one click and deal one damage to each character she broke away from. And for my Captain America, it was tough. I was going back and forth for one that like really works well with this diamond back or one that just feels like the era. So I'm going to say, because I don't think he sees enough play, I'm going to go with the Fast Forces uh, Captain America from Captain America and the Avengers. He's really fun. He, of course, has a living legend trait. I'm not going to get into that. You should know what it does by now. Um, he has this really cool attack power, though. Which is follow up when he hits with a ranged combat attack after resolutions, you may place Captain America adjacent to the hit character and then make a close attack. It's really cool. Throws a shield, bam, catches it, walks up to you, boom, punches again. That works amazingly with running shot, which is awesome. And then he's got five range. So I really dig it. I really dig this Captain America. And I think it's a fun uh, version of that like run. You know, he just has toughness. He's sort of a, an 80s cap. He's not. The crazy toughest. He kind of just went against the Servant Society. He wasn't going against any crazy big, big threats, you know. Um, Bam says, what an awesome candidate for the Remaker Ring. He's actually not, though, because uh, he can't poison after he's placed. So he's like an okay candidate for the Remaker Ring. Like You can't do anything amazing guess, with yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, everyone like, yeah, who, could, who get doesn't have it. shape change is good with shape change. He's a good candidate, I guess, but like he's not necessarily a great candidate. No offense, sorry, Bam. Um, but yeah, so that that's my next couple. Captain America, Diamondback, have a play a little date night scenario. Play play them with like Paladin, uh, some of the other bad girls, Inc., and then have them go against Femizons. I think was like the evil women they played against. Like it was Superior and some other bad lady villains they went against. So yeah, do that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, next yeah. couple, Simia. So got some sound effects for this next one so uh mm. my next uh my next good couple is uh coming out of collateral damage it's the kinetic absorber all clear terrain and water terrain two or fewer squares from this object is hindering terrain for movement purposes and you know who could have used some kinetic absorption as good old 027 from Spider-Man Venom Absolute Carnage set uh, Gwen Stacy she really uh, <laughs> you know could have used <laughs> oh some kinetic absorption when <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> attempted to save her uh, clearly <laughs> clearly this Gwen Stacy is uh, that exact version because how loud do you want it is her, uh, her trait. How loud no, do you want it? No. Opposing characters within four squares can't use super senses. And Spider-Man was definitely not using super senses when he attempted to save her from uh, falling to her, her doom. 
uh, via the Green Goblin. So that is my my true, uh, never seen in comics, but uh, the kinetic absorber in Gwen Stacy. I mean, it's it's like a a Romeo and Juliet tell. You know, they they never end oh up together, God. but they they really needed each other when it mattered the most. <laughs> dude, dude. I mean, creative, yeah, but dude. <laughs> All right. Um, geez. I'll go to my next one, I guess. Um, these are from the uh, Kick A Money Sign Money Sign set WizKids made a few years ago. Um, and both these guys, uh, well, I guess one's a lady, uh, but whatever, uh, are really cool. So one is the Fast Force. Uh, Dave Lazuski, aka the main kick dash a dollar sign dollar sign man himself. Uh, I like this Dave Lazuski a lot. Uh, if he doesn't have two action tokens, he uses combat reflexes, which is cool. He has a special speed power, which gives him charge. And if he's not adjacent to an opposing character, he can move two squares as a free action. So it's like bad sidestep, um, which is a bummer. Which they would just give him sidestep. And then he has a special damage power, which is I was the first. He can use leadership when he does other friendly characters. The Justice Forever keyword are considered a lower point value. Um, doesn't matter anymore. That's just sort of how leadership works nowadays. But it is what it is. But I'm going to go with his honey from the movie. Uh, Miranda Swedlow, a.k.a. Uh, Knight. Old female dog, I guess, would be the best way to say her second <laughs> part. Um, yeah. Um, so, Miranda Swedlow is cool. Uh, so, she has a trait for my sister. When Miranda Swedlow generates knockback, it can't be ignored by powers. So your combat reflexes, nope. Charge, nope. Uh, and it works really well because she has charge quake top dial. And then when she doesn't have charge quake, she'll have force blast with a close combat expert. All... And she's 50 points. Uh, charge Quake, 10 attack, 2 damage, um, which is cool for top dial. And she has some combo reflexes in there. Her, she also has another version that's 50 points. I think this, I would say this one is probably the better version. Uh, the other one has like a 10 speed flurry. And then perplex. It's so like no move and attack at all. Um, and then her, her defense is down by one as well top dial still with the super senses but it's still down and this one has that really cool knockback trait which i really dig so yeah that is going to be my last couple that if you own any of the kick dash a money sign money sign the kick butt set you could say um play it it's a really fun team both the bad guys because we definitely can't say that on this show and then the uh just forever are both really fun pieces. I really, I, I own this complete set. It's a really easy set. I imagine to own completely, um, but it's awesome. It's fun. So yeah, Simeon, I, pff, ooh, I, I guess, um, what is your last uh, couple? Okay. So I got a message here from Calder that said that it had to be more family friendly. So my last couple is of course going to go to Lieutenant Commander Data from the Star Trek set. Uh, resistance mm -hmm. is futile. Uh, most of them are about 50 points, but it's shifting focus split between two sets. So any lieutenant commander data will work. And then uh, from the Spider-Man Venom Absolute Carnage set, Spot. Because everybody knows that Lieutenant Commander Data's favorite pet was his cat, Spot. I've never seen Star Trek. I literally have no idea what any of these words he's just said mean. That's okay, because in the background I'm, I'm playing the rap video, so they'll hear the, the Data rap as we're talking right now. I'm just going to play it in the background, this whole conversation is still going. It'll eventually wow. end at wow. some point. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure when. I wish you'd end now. It's pretty good. How about right now? How about now? My ears are bleeding just listening to it, and I'm not even really listening to it right now. Wow. Okay, Simeon, that was a better pick. Um, because the other ones, I was like, dang, do you need a hug or something, man? He doing all right? <laughs> like, she's a little dark there. But yeah, so let us know if you guys have a favorite Hero Clicks couple that you like to play. And if you also played any cool, fun couple games uh, of Heroclix this Valentine's Day. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this show up. 
with a Jedi legend hero clicks tip of the week. You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. So oddly enough, we have a Top Gun uh, gif he's using here. So very funny. We got the goose Top Gun, just sort of. And we talked about Hal Jordan. I mean, it's there's a bunch of full circle stuff happening this week. Fasten your seatbelts. Give a power action to a character to become the pilot. All right. Then you give the vehicle an action to eject for the pilot to leave. Now the character can go ahead and take a costed action. So, boom, power action, jump into, become the pilot. That was the person becoming the pilot, gets power action. Then the vehicle, boom, can do an action. Eject, power action to the vehicle. Pilot leaves, pilot can do an action. Boom, that's how vehicles work, ladies and gentlemen. Super simple for getting inside and outside of the cockpit. All right, Simeon. It's, uh, I realized what I said, and I realized there's a line in that movie about it. We're just going to totally skip over. We're just going to complete. We're going to completely. We're just going to. We're just going to completely skip over that right now. Don't want to bring it up. Thank you. Thank you. I'll choose a different segue and into my like uh, cool stuff ink thing. Uh, and if you want to skip over something, and it happens to be a hero click set, uh, you can purchase some singles at coolstuffinc.com. They've got all the Future Foundation singles up and listed. They are not priced or available for purchase yet. Of course, uh, Cool Stuff Inc. being the upstanding site they are, they won't sell until release day because that's what upstanding sites do. Um, but yeah, you can still pre-order the booster bricks, the booster packs, the play at home kit if you don't have a local store if you do have a local store i'd suggest you picking up a play at home kit from that store it's only 10 bucks it's the same price at your local store as it will be on coolstuffinc.com so that's the one thing that uh i would definitely suggest no matter the prices at your local store it's a pretty easy thing to order through them give them some business show them that you care if you don't have a local store, feel free to grab that. It comes with the Sioux Storm, and it's going to have a double-sided map, as the last one did. Uh, the Dyson Token Pack, it's cool. Um, I haven't decided if I want it. I'm mostly mad that they added two Latvarian villagers to the Dyson vo uh, or Latvarian uh, peasants, not villagers. Sorry, they're lower class than villagers. They're peasants. Uh I'm kind of mad that they retroactively put those bystanders in a uh, bystander pack when we already have a bunch of bystanders in this pack. It seemed kind of silly, but there's a lot of 3D objects in this set. It's going to be exciting. I'm I'm ready for it. it. Comes out here in a couple days, so make sure you get your pre-orders in at CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day from the latest HeroClick singles and sealed products. That Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. That might have been the longest read you have ever done. Just for feeling. Oh, what I meant to say was, and like always, happy trail. <laughs> Nice out.